The Neuroscience Division of the Burnett School focuses on understanding the molecular and cellular pathways that govern normal development and function of the nervous system. So we study both basic biology, understanding normal mechanisms that will allow us to better understand what happens when our bodies fail to move properly. Parkinson's and ALS, there are others that are less commonly referred to that affect your peripheral nerves, such as Charcot-Marie Tooth and neurofibromatosis. I work on movement disorders in humans, so this is uh, diseases that would affect uh, people's ability to walk, to use their hands as they age, and uh, we've developed a mouse model where we're studying that disease, uh, looking at the mutation and trying to understand how it happens and what we can do to uh, design therapies in the future. And so it's the combination of a defect in the muscle and in the neuron that's uh, making it harder for people to walk or to use their hands as they age. We do have two scientists that are working on ALS. Do you all remember the water bucket challenge? So ALS is a movement disorder where you progressively lose motor neurons. It usually starts in your lower limbs, so you have lower limb weakness, eventually you have paralysis. We have another individual who's funded by the Michael J. Fox Foundation currently, and he studies Parkinson's. Research in my lab is currently focused on developing therapies for individuals with neurofibromatosis type 2. This is a genetic disorder that causes tumors to form in nerves, both in your head and along your spine and in your limbs. The fastest pathway to uh, developing a new therapy is to find a new purpose for drugs that already are FDA approved. The impact on the patient population will be much faster than if we had to start from scratch. When you move into translational research where the application of your discovery could make a difference in five years, or less, that's really exciting. Knowing that there are patients out there depending on you, depending on you going to work every day, creating something that might help their health improve, that is another very strong motivator to keep doing biomedical research.